In this week, Parsha, we learned about how Yosef has to pass through a lot of trouble. It was a very tough life. His father, Yaakov, he wants to give everything to him, starting from a garment that was very expensive. And you know what create? Jealous from brothers. First, they were upset. Then they became more upset. And then they swear to kill him. And the poor Yosef first was, thro was thrown to a pit almost dying there and then he was sold to the Ishmaeli which were a group of merchants and caravans and then he was sold from the Ishmaelites to the Midianites and the Midianites to the Egyptians and then he became a slave in the house of Potiphar the minister from the government and then his wife put an eye on Yosef and she tried to rape him and he said, run away. And then he was put in jail and he spent in jail 12 years of his life. You look at Yosef and you think of poor guy. And everything starts from a garment that the father gave to Yosef. Pasim in Hebrew. Every letter in Hebrew has a reason why. And if you take the word Pasim, Pei, Samach, Yud, Mem, represent part of his trouble of his life when he was young. Pay for Potiphar, the minister who was his boss when he was slave. Samach for Soharim, the merchandise, the people, the caravan that he was sold for almost pennies. Yud for Ishmaelim, they were the first people who bought Yosef as a slave. And the last word, Mem for Midian, the other country, the other people who bought Yosef as a slave. In Chesim Pasim, you see the trouble of Yosef. Now, if you will be Yosef, and you knew that if your father is, is giving you a gift, and you accept the gift, you're gonna get in so much trouble. You will accept or no the gift. And of course, we all will say, no, thank you. But if you look at the life of Yosef, the next week, Parsha, we will learn that Yosef became the second from the king of Egypt, from Parth. That he became the one who saved the world from starvation and hunger. And he became the most important person in the history, not only of the Jewish people, but probably in the history of the world. In other words, everything that happened to us is for goodness. We don't see it. We only see sometimes negativity and we are stuck and we are frustrated, etc. etc. But look at yourself, think about him, and look at yourself, and you will see that everything that happened in your life is actually for the benefit and for the best of you. Shabbat Shalom.